it's PrestonAdvocateGames.com here, and today we're doing our Presti's perspective on Trump's tax thingy. Yeah, it's a little bit. So, like, we've tried, we do this in the family a lot, right? Um, and we talk about shooting it all the time, but we yeah. don't shoot it as much as I would like to. And that's, like, talking to you about, like, current news events mm -hmm. and things that are going on in the world to sort of prep you. And part of the speech that you're giving in Seattle is about that, like, talking to your kids and preparing them for things that they're gonna to have to deal with in the future so that you can start thinking about these kinds of things yeah. now. Like a lot of people just don't talk to their kids about this stuff. And I think it's important for you to have context, especially I'm sure you're reading a fair amount of stuff about opinions about Trump's tax plan yeah. or the, the Republican tax bill that just passed. Um, and so like I want you to form opinions based on understanding what's going on yeah. and not just someone I trust hates it, so I'm gonna hate it too, mm -hmm. right? It needs to be a little bit more in depth than that. Right. right, and so I think we're going to continue to make more videos like this where we talk about things that are going on in the world and right. trying to give Presley a little context for what's happening. Right. And so the other thing is you don't want to like super dumb this stuff down for your kids, mm -hmm. right? You want to have a real conversation. This like taxes is a ridiculously complex topic that any adult even would have trouble <laughs> having a deep understanding of. So this is going to be a pretty high level conversation about taxes, and then we'll talk a little bit about the Republican tax plan. Okay. And, and why people like it and why people don't like it, right? right? But first, like, tell me what you understand about taxes in general. No, not really. Um, I know that they're yearly or so, every couple of years, every year or so. Okay. And, every, and uh, I know that mom has to use my computer when she does them, which makes me very mad. Because yeah, our tax software is on Windows. And, and I, can't play, Mac. I yep. can't play Overwatch uh -huh. when she's doing that, which makes uh -huh. me sad. Yep. It's you have to pay taxes. We have to pay taxes for the business, which mm -hmm. I know because you have we have, you've been talking about it recently. Uh -huh. And I may, I mean I thought taxes and bills were the same thing until last year. Definitely not. So the same. I don't know like anything about them. I know that they should. So be, why do we pay taxes? Blah. Who do we pay taxes to? The government. Who gets the do, money when do, we pay taxes? Uh, it changes a lot, but the government. And it go ta take taxes you, mm -hmm. or like, and I only know about this in I know about I do know about taxes in the context of medieval okay. times. I know that medieval times the restaurant now in the context of medieval times. We should go where, to medieval times. We should. Okay, I miss medieval times. Um, and I know vaguely based on like the three seconds I had to deal with taxes in the RP is like a king can. And like I guess, and taxes were in the Revolutionary War too. Huh? Like they're just a concept that exists. Can take money from their citizens for like living in their domain, domain, <laughs> and be like, okay, and then I'm gonna use, put this towards like the military, yeah, or towards getting better farming equipment. Except no one ever does that in medieval times. <laughs> Everyone puts it towards some evil thing. So that's how fantasy works. Yeah, sure. I mean, maybe less farming equipment because of this. So uh, yeah, that's pretty close, right? So in general, the idea is that we all live in this society. Yeah. We all live in the United States, we're citizens, and that the federal, state, and local governments provide services to us. Yeah. Right? They build roads, so there's infrastructure kinds of things that they do. Um, yeah, the, yeah, police, yeah. the police force, uh -huh. the fire department, <laughs> like those kinds of things. There's the 21 Pilots lyric about taxes. Yes, there was. It's... I don't remember it specifically because I haven't heard this song in a really long time, but it's, uh, it also has a swear word in it, but it's because the government won't use, um, it's something about the guy, it's the one about driving, and the guy, the one about the song about driving, and he runs into a pothole and then he starts complaining mm -hmm. that the yeah, okay. government so won't use his taxes to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so, like, we all live here and we all take advantage of these shared services. And it's a little like insurance, too, which we should probably have a separate video on. But it's kind of like maybe you don't drive on that road that your money gets spent on, but we all benefit from the shared right. road highway system and interstates and public roads and public transit and the post office, like sending letters and mail to each other. And the military is a huge one for the federal government, right? right. Um, uh, so all of those things cost money. Yeah. Right. I mean, it takes money to do those kinds of things, and so basically we all pitch in and pay for those things. Right. That we that so, are shared services that the government provides. It sounds 
decent in concept. Well, but a lot so, of no, 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 we're going to go there. So this is the that's the concept, right? We all need to pitch in and pay for the things that the government provides to us, right? Um, so there are a couple of different models. Uh, and there's several, but like two of the big models that you could look at for collection of taxes. So there's an income tax and then there's a consumption tax. Okay, just, just I've heard both of those. Models. So an income tax is what we have right now, is what we pay. Okay. So based on how much money like I make at my job or you make in the business mm -hmm. or like you get your speaking fee or whatever, like a, a percentage of the money that you make goes to the government. Okay. And that's how the government gets money, is they take a percentage of the money everybody makes. So it's income tax. When you make income, they tax your income. Okay. okay? The other way is a consumption tax, which is more, they don't tax money when you make it, they tax money when you spend it. And so that's like, what like the a, thing is Like a tax. sales tax? Yeah. Yeah, so a sales tax is a consumption tax, right? Uh -huh. So it is, it doesn't matter how much money I make, it's how much money I spend. And the theory being that people that make more money spend more money or buy higher dollar things. And so spending your money is what gets taxed and not making money right. gets taxed. So those are just two different ways to look at it. Do you have a preference between those? Does either of those make more sense to you? Yeah. It makes more sense to, to me at least, it makes sense to not take money from the wages, but instead to take money from the money spent on something. Okay. Although I'm pretty sure that would cause people to up their prices more so that like because doesn't that the money that they take from the spending yeah, it's, pl it's still plus tax you charge uh, whatever you okay. want and then okay. taxes okay. on top As of like, that yeah, yeah tax taxes okay. aren't built in the way people price their stuff you okay. pay tax on top of what they charge yeah. okay uh, the things makes, would cost more obviously because you would be being taxed in, in addition to the, the pay press right so that the, makes sense and um, but the problem is rich people could just avoid that very easily absolutely like they could just like um, they could seize purchasing like everything. I mean, I mean, I guess rich people are like, I want all of the all of the fancy things ever. Right. But if they, no, you're they on could to avoid something. that, by you're not totally on to something. That, that. By buying, mean, like, so here's the here's the sort of the dilemma. So there's there's this idea of like progressive and regressive taxes, where people who make more money or have more, let's say have more, because if you say make more, you're fucking income tax necessarily. Yeah. But people that have more money, in theory, should probably pay more taxes yes, than people who that. have less money. So that's a progressive, well, it's sort of a progressive tax. Um, and if you were doing consumption-based, then this is, there's a lot of math involved in taxes, but let's say you make $10,000 a year. Okay. And so you're on sort of the low side of income mm -hmm. and you spend almost all of that ten thousand dollars just to live oh okay right because you have to you eat pay food pay rent pay your car payment buy insurance go about whatever you have to do you spend a ton of that ten thousand dollars right mm -hmm. and then you've got somebody that makes a hundred thousand dollars right and if they're li living similar to the person that makes ten thousand dollars let's say mm -hmm. then let's say they only spend ten thousand of that hundred thousand dollars on their living expenses. Mm -hmm. So now they're only paying taxes on 10% of their income. Right. Right? And this other person is paying taxes on almost all of their income. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, you really got the, the person making less money paying a higher percentage of taxes. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, the, the person who's wealthy can kind of sit on their money. Right. If you're being taxed for spending your money, don't spend your money. You just save up your money forever mm -hmm. and spend only what you have to. And then, like, as a percentage, you've got people on the lower end of the system paying more. Mm -hmm. uh, so a one way to, to, to combat that is you make certain things not taxable. So, like, food. Yeah. Like, you don't tax food. So people who are just, like, sustenance, like, I'm paying my rent, I'm paying, I don't know, probably not a car. But I'm paying for utilities. I'm paying, like these kind of, these kinds of things. I'm paying for food. Mm -hmm. You don't tax those things, cool. Because everybody has to do that. So then now you're starting to get into the system that is another problem with taxes, and even with the income tax like we have now, there are certain things that don't get taxed in the same way. Mm -hmm. You get tax breaks, or what they're called, okay. deductions, tax breaks. We'll hear them in all kinds of different ways, and that becomes the government encouraging behavior. And saying, "Hey, we'll, you'll pay less in taxes if you have two kids, 
But you now, now in the current plan, it actually kind of if you go above two kids, it's a little disadvantageous. Like I think it costs you a little bit more. You lose money if you have more than two kids, and so the government is sort of picking. How many kids if pay? if you do this, you pay less in taxes. We'll basically we'll pay you we'll pay you to have a couple of kids. Or what? But I mean, not really, because kids kids are more expensive than the tax breaks that you get for them. So you're not really you're not coming out ahead in that deal. But in general, they are saying if you do these kinds of things, we will take money off of your taxes, cool. and so that gets into the government sort of social engineering but that's the world a problem through with taxes. The and not with taxes. No, no, right. No, implementation of taxes is always a problem. I think you were you were spot on the first thing you said. Like that's great in theory, but the implementation is. Kind and of that's the thing with all like pretty much all of our government. We have really cool ideas, mm -hmm. but then we don't do them very good. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, there are proponents of when you're talking about taxes, that how you divvy up taxes is, is a big deal, right? And so you say the people who make 80% of the money, should they pay 80% of the taxes? And the people who make 10% should pay 10% of the taxes? Um, or is that, yeah, like, that sounds really great but it's big, but mathematically, it's but you're, you're hurting the people on the bottom end more. Because all the because of that that example I gave of the thousand or the ten thousand dollars versus a hundred thousand dollars, like a hundred dollars or ten percent of that ten thousand dollar person's income, right? If you take ten percent of that a thousand dollars, that's a really important thousand dollars to that guy. Yeah. The hundred thousand dollar guy, you're taking ten thousand dollars of his money, so it's still a lot more money. Right. Percentage wise, it's the same. It's a lot more money, but that ten thousand dollars means less to that person than. The thousand dollars means to the smaller guy right. because the, the the person who makes less is is needs all of his money to live. Like it's bread money is one of the things you can call it. Mm -hmm. Like I need money to eat. That's my bread money. So the thousand dollars you're taking away from the ten thousand dollar guy is bread money, and the ten thousand dollars you're taking from the hundred thousand dollar guy is not bread money. Right. And so all money, dollar for dollar, is not the same. And so we have what we call a progressive tax system, mm -hmm. which means. The people at the lower end, like at the very low end, people don't pay taxes at all, right? Mm -hmm. And the people that make a little bit more money pay a certain percentage. People that make more money pay a higher percentage. Okay. People that make more money make a, pay a higher percentage. Okay. So that's progressive. It progresses wow. and gets higher as you make more money. Great. So, so that the, the tax load is pushed towards the wealthy. Good, do that. The more money you have, the more money you pay in taxes. And not just the more money you pay in taxes, but the higher percentage of your income that you pay in taxes. Right. Oh, oops. Goodbye, okay. Light. Oh, no one's okay. right, no right. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the system that we have in place right now. And that it's not, like, I always thought this when I was younger, too. This is worth explaining. And like, let's say that up to $10,000, you don't pay any taxes, mm -hmm. and then above $10,000, let's just say you pay 20%, just, okay. just as an argument, okay? So a person who makes $9,000 mm -hmm. pays no taxes, right. so they keep $9,000. Uh -huh. But then if were, that were true the way I described it, the person that makes $10,000 pays 20% in taxes, mm -hmm. so he keeps $8,000. So the person that makes, pays, makes $10,000 makes less money than the person that makes $9,000. I always thought that was a stupid system, and that's because that's not the system. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was totally well, mistaken about it. What actually happens is that everyone's money up to $10,000, the first $10,000 that they earn is not taxed. Oh. And then since this other person makes $1,000 more, they pay 20% just on that $1,000 that oh. they earn. So they get they make eight hundred dollars more than the person, right? So that's it's wow. every, when you look at the brackets and it says people that make up to this pay this much and people that make up to this pay this pay much. much. It's not flat across their income. It is up to this point you pay this percent, up to this point okay. this percent, Understand. up to this point that. So a that's day. a different thing, right? Um, so I think that, and then there's there's corporate taxes. So businesses pay taxes in addition yeah. to individuals, and they pay them at a certain rate. And really, what you end up with in the the so that that's just a high level okay. primer of taxes. Understood. The uh, the the differences between like Republicans and Democrats or conservative and liberal or, or whatever you want to do. Uh, here are the fundamental big differences from from my point of view. Yeah. Um, on the conservative side, like the Republican mm -hmm. side, they want the government to do as little as possible and spend as little money as possible, and therefore have to raise as little taxes as possible. Okay. 
Okay. So the government should provide military services because it kind of has to do that. It should provide infrastructure to build the roads and things like mm -hmm. that. Police and fire department, yeah, those are shared services and we need to pay for those, but very little else. Mm -hmm. Just the things that the federal government, especially the federal government, the things the federal government has to provide to us. It should do those, it should do those as cheaply as possible, and it should take as little money from the citizens that has to do, do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the more liberal side or the, the democratic side is that the government should provide a wide range of social services for its citizens mm -hmm. like up to free health care yeah um you know social security job training free schools like the, the government should provide a lot of social services to its citizens and in order to do that that costs a lot more money therefore the government has to raise a lot more taxes right. to be able to provide those services right so those are just pure also, philosophical differences between conservatives and liberals yeah you could also spend like less money on the on things we don't need because i know that we spend a lot like way more than it like a hundred times more than like any other country in our military it is, you yeah, spend no. so much money on it so just spend less on that right but so the, again even if even if you did that the conservatives would say okay if we spent half of the money we spent on the military that half of that money should go back to the citizens they would never say you should you should spend that money somewhere else. They would say, oh great, we cut we cut no. spending. We should return money back to the people that gave us the money. Right. <clears throat> we should do like I think. Well, I'm just I'm, I'm, you're you're not going to convince. The, I'm telling you what the world views are. I'm not asking you to convince <laughs> <I'm> Republicans <laughs> to want to spend more money. Right. This is not the way the world works. Right. We just have these two different views, and I, but they're both perfectly valid views. Yeah. Right. Like that's the thing. Like there's a lot of hatred between the two sides, and 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 people like, throw a lot of stones. But it's really just look, government, just do as little as possible and spend as little money as possible, and just leave me the hell alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, just leave me alone. Wait, wait, can I, say hello I don't know. Just leave me alone and let me do my thing, and don't take much of my money. But yeah, give me police and fire departments and roads and military and We're done. stay out of business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a cool. perfectly reasonable way to be the world. Yeah. Right. On the liberal side, or a lot of the European countries, it's more no. Like I think, I think we're better off as a people if we pool our resources together and provide free education and free health care and this whole you know um, individual individualistic attitude, mm -hmm. the cowboy attitude of Americans cowboy. is is misguided. Mm -hmm. That it's better if we all work together. Yeah. And we don't all work together well unless we're compelled to do it. And taxes and the government is a way to force us to all work together and pitch money in to help everybody out. Right. So they're just different worldviews, right? Yeah. Um, the other thing that that differentiates things a lot is this top down versus bottom up tax system. So the conservative or the Republican tax plan, especially in this iteration of the tax plan, and this is one of the things people are upset about. So conservatives believe in like top-down economic growth. So they believe if you take wealthy people, especially people who own and run businesses and hire people, mm -hmm. and you make sure they have more money, you cut their taxes, mm -hmm. and they have more money, that means they will hire more people, so more people will have good jobs, those people that have good jobs now will make more money. They will spend more money in the economy. Mm -hmm. and, and that money gets spent and tax dollars, sales tax, so money gets raised. And so if you start at the top and give the business owners more money, they spend it on their businesses and hire people and they buy new equipment for their business and people have to, have to build that new equipment. Mm -hmm. And so like the money spreads out through the economy by, by making businesses wealthier. Right. They can spend the money and they can raise things up, right? Yeah. On the other side, on the, the more liberal side, they say it's a more uh, bottom-up. So if you give everyday people more money by cutting their taxes, then those people will spend the money in the economy. And if they buy more from this business, this business then makes more money and it can hire more people and it can buy new stuff and the right. same kinds of things happen, right? right. So again, yes. it's just two different worldviews. Yes. Right? Do you make businesses more money and assume that they will spend it and that that will stimulate the economy? Or do you give individuals more money and again assume they will spend that money and it will flow back in the economy and it will make the economy bigger? Right. And so whenever you see taxing the rich, middle class tax cuts, what's the business tax rate? Like when you're talking about all of these things that are going on, that's what you're talking about. So Republicans, they cut the, the corporate tax rate like significantly. That was the biggest tax cut of this entire bill 
was from a percentage standpoint is what corporations pay. Mm -hmm. They pay a lot less than they did before. Mm -hmm. So next year they're gonna pay a ton less. And so that is just implementing the philosophy that if we cut business taxes on these businesses, then they will do more business in the country, which is good for the country. They'll hire people, they'll buy stuff and they'll make more money. Mm -hmm. Right? Everybody else, not everybody else, like you like roughly half of people I think got it, will end up with a tax cut out of this. We really don't know until we run through some of the iterations of this. But um, you know, like we may our our taxes will probably go up because we live in California. Mm -hmm. So one of the things, the other things that they're changing that is you'll hear about salt is what it's called. Um, state and local tax. Uh, but the uh, we pay state taxes and we pay federal taxes, right? So we, we pay money to this to California to provide services that California provides, and we pay taxes to the federal government for the federal government services. Mm -hmm. And the way that it has been for I don't know as long as I can remember, I think, um, like if I make you know ten thousand mm dollars -hmm. and I pay a thousand dollars to California, yeah. so that makes nine thousand dollars. The federal government only taxes me on that nine thousand dollars because I never got that thousand dollars I sent to California. Okay. Like that's not my money. I, I I didn't earn that. I didn't get to keep that money. Yeah. And so if if you both tax me on the ten thousand dollars, then I, I would be sort of double taxing money. Mm -hmm. right? right. California would tax money, and then the federal government would tax that same money. Yeah. And so in this new tax bill, that's exactly what they did. So the federal government no longer takes into account how much taxes I pay California. Okay. They just tax me based on how much money I earned. Mm -hmm. And so both California and the federal government are taxing me on the same dollars. And so because I used to, you know, if again, if I made $10,000 and I paid $1,000 to California, I would only pay federal taxes on $9,000. Mm -hmm. This year I'm paying federal taxes on $10,000. So my taxes are on here. Even if my tax rate goes down a little bit, I'm being taxed on more income. And so I, we might make less money because of that, right? And that's because, well, the argument again is that different states have different tax rates. Mm -hmm. Like Texas doesn't have income tax. And California has a really high income tax. Mm -hmm. And so someone in Texas that makes the same amount of money as someone in California, the person in California would pay less federal income taxes because they get that deduction for what they pay California. Where if the person in Texas didn't pay Texas any money until so the federal government taxes all of that. It's a, it's a, again, it all gets super complicated, right? right? And so what they were sort of saying is that it's weird that people in different states and in different places that make the same amount of money pay different federal taxes mm -hmm. because um, the state tax is taken into account. And so it's sort of an incentive for a state to charge more taxes because right. you know people, it doesn't hurt their citizens to do that. And so now states will be disincentivized to have high tax rates because it now it does hurt their citizens, their citizens make less money. So California, New York, a few other states that have really high state taxes, but provide really great services with those taxes, um, are, it's gonna, they're gonna have to relook at how they do things. And so that's another thing that you're gonna have to look at in the bill, is saying, okay, we're not, we're not doing that anymore. And then on the, uh, like, more... But I think let's just, like, before you start talking yeah. about that, I think let's just kind of, like, if, we are doing different state tax rate because different states do different things. Uh -huh. I just think what we had before, like if we're doing that, and it might be weird to pay different taxes in different states, but uh -huh. that's just it's like a state unavoidable. decision. Yeah, and so like conservatives really believe in states' rights until it's something that they don't believe. In. <laughs> right. right. Like you can't not then they decide do states that. shouldn't be doing their own thing. The federal government should control what everybody does when it's something they care about. But that's a whole other thing. Okay. Yeah, and to be more, um, like, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, uh, it's not skeptical or pessimistic or whatever, to be looking at it as more they have ulterior motives and bad yeah. intentions. The high tax rate states are almost all like heavily democratic states. Yeah. And so the Republicans are passing a bill that hurts high tax states. But, but in doing that, you're really hurting Democratic states and not hurting. So the yeah. core voters, like people in California that have to pay more taxes can be all pissed off and say, okay, well, I'm not going to vote for Trump in the next election. But Trump wasn't going to win California in the next election. So it doesn't really hurt him. And the people that support his tax cuts live in states 
that don't have high tax rates, and so they're not hurt by the thing, and so they don't care as much. That they're probably happy that people in California are getting hurt by the <laughs> tax tax rate. That's, yeah. So from like it's just a pure political lens, if you look at it from a political standpoint, it's not just philosophically we think states shouldn't charge high taxes, or that the the federal government should get less money from you because you paid a lot of state taxes. It's more like we we we're going to hurt democratic. Yeah, states. democratic states are providing services that they need. They are, and like interestingly enough, you hear a lot about like you know California charges a bunch of taxes and they take in a bunch of revenue from the federal government and stuff. But California is one of the few like net positive states with the federal government. So for like every dollar that we send to the federal government, we get eighty cents back, and so we're actually funding the government from California. Like we take less money than we give. And most states get more money from the federal government than they spend back. Um, and so, even with a high tax structure and, and the deductions, that are <laughs> Hello. There you go. So, even with the deductions that are happening currently, without the change that's happening, California sends more money to the federal government than they take in. So, I mean, that's an argument against the idea that you shouldn't do that kind of thing. But just like I, I want you, as you're reading people talking about the taxes. To not just think, oh, this is a horrible idea, or necessarily even they're doing it because they're greedy, or they're doing it because, like, they're rich, so they want to lower taxes on the rich. Cynical. That's the word I'm looking cynical. for. Uh -huh. that's, that's the more cynical view, is these people that are passing these rules are all rich, and it just so happens that these tax breaks benefit the rich more. So that's a cynical viewpoint, but there's also just a, a political philosophy that is, if you help the rich, that money, like trickle down economics is one of the like pejorative terms here for it, but like that money will flow down into the economy. Right, the people, people I, I don't know, like, I know like two things about this, but I hear, hear a lot that trickle down economics don't work mm. because people sit on their money and they put it other places so they can't trickle down. Like trickle down economics would work if like everyone had their money and spent a lot of money. Right. But then people put it in, like, you have a trickle down, like, a graph of it that is, like, wine glasses. Mm -hmm. That would work in theory, but mm -hmm. then people empty their wine glass into a punch bowl. <laughs> right. So. Yeah, so it goes back to what we were talking about before with, like, the $10,000 earner and the $100,000 earner. Like, which one of those people is more likely to spend more money if they had more money? The, the, the $10,000 person is. Yeah. Right, because they need more stuff. Yeah. Whereas the $100,000 earner is more likely to save money. Yeah. Which that money that is being saved would not go back into the economy. And so the reason you look at bottom up is to say, look, I think it's it's the same. Like we're both saying we want to give money to people that will spend it and stimulate the economy. It's just that one group of people is saying, okay, the, the people at the bottom are more likely to spend their money right. than the people at the top, so we should give money to the people at the bottom. And that may be like your political philosophy, but philosophy, philosophy. but but like don't dismiss out of hand the right. other thought approach, right? Don't don't dismiss it as just in a purely cynical way as saying that it's all about making yourself more money or all about rich donors that are paying money that are like that all happens. Like it, it, it it's a factor in what's happening, but also like like take into account that there are legitimate philosophies of how economics work right. that drive people to believe different things, mm -hmm. right? Right. Okay. So now when you read and you talk more about the taxes, hopefully you can be a little bit more informed and, and understand yeah. the context yeah. of what's happening a little right. bit better. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. That's, that's what I wanted to talk about. Yeah. I, taxes. taxes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, such a confusing topic. And we just scratched the surface, right? Like the big social engineering pieces of saying, hey, we'll give you tax breaks if you do the things we'd like you to mm. do. Like that's Don't a little sketchy. That. And then, you know, there's the whole, the richer you are, like if it was just that, here's the tax rate for this much money, here's the tax rate for this much money, here's the tax rate for this much money, and everybody paid those tax rates. Mm -hmm. And at the very bottom, you don't pay any because, you I mean, you, you need your money to live, it's bread money. Yeah. And then as you move up, right, you take how much money you earn and you pay that percentage in taxes mm -hmm. across the thing. That would be one thing. But because there are all kinds of loopholes and deductions and things that you can do, a lot of times this person up here ends up actually paying a lower percentage of taxes than this person down here mm -hmm. because they can afford 
to hire someone to help them go after the loopholes and the deductions and find the things that they want to do, mm -hmm. that the actual tax rate they pay is not the tax rate that's you know listed in the IRS guidelines. Right. Which is kind of crazy. So that part, it all gets it gets even muddier and, and messier in there because people don't actually, even when you take it and, and lay it out in a progressive system that people agree with, that's not what people pay. Yeah. And so to kind of understand that piece of it and closing loopholes, you hear people all the time talk about closing loopholes and that's what that's about, mm -hmm. is that, you know, like I was saying, if we paid, and the so the state and local tax thing is actually closing a loophole because what you're saying is that, oh, I, you earned $10,000, but we're not gonna charge you for $9,000, for $1,000 of that because you paid it to California. Right. That's a loophole. Right. Like if you're gonna say you just take how much money you earn and you tax it, then you, you take that away, right? And you say, no, you get charged $10,000, and if you choose to live in California and you know that they're gonna charge you $1,000 in taxes, that's your business. You're more than welcome to do that. But we, as the federal government, aren't going to give tax breaks to people for doing different things. We're going to say you earned ten thousand dollars, and so you pay taxes on ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and that's kind of what they're doing in this new tax bill. And philosophically, I like that, even yeah. though that kind of hurts me because I do live in California and I pay that money. And like, it's always it's like when uh, uh, you know one of your favorite celebrities gets wrapped up in the sexual assault crisis. Like, it's a different thing when it's somebody you really care about, right? right. And when I think about oh, they're getting rid of my tax deduction for state and local taxes, that's horrible. But then I have to think, oh, wait a minute, I actually kind of support getting rid of deductions and loopholes. Right. And so this one just happens to hurt me, so I still have to yeah. kind of support that. But that hurts a lot more people than just... But like, you can't pick and choose. You just can't pick and... You have to be consistent philosophically and say, I don't like engineering and like social guidance through tax breaks of the federal government. And so I don't want them to do it at all, even when I think they're doing the right thing. I, I th you can't say, I think it's okay when they're doing something I agree with, and it's not okay when they're doing something I don't disagree with. You have to kind of say, I don't think they should be, they, don't, they shouldn't be in that business at all. And if they get out of that business, then they could just lower taxes altogether for right. people who, who you know, are on the lower income right. side. Right. Like that's what they should do, is just right. say, everybody pays their taxes, and they pay for every dollar that they earned, and but we're going to lower it a little bit because everybody, you know, there's no more loopholes. Right. That would be my first That would be, yeah. Like, yeah, the engineering for taxes. I said, it isn't even something that I thought about. Mm -hmm. But that's just really good. And, like, the example you're doing with, like, kids, like, yeah. you should, you need more money the more children you have. You that's how the world works. Don't do that. But, like I said, that's a problem with our government official and not with the tax system. The, the implementation. Right. So you need to, instead of stopping changing the tax system, you change the government people that are wanting to do that mm -hmm. instead, mm -hmm. and then you fix it. So you vote. <laughs> yeah. Vote you should do that. Vote for don't people that you agree with. Please vote for people, even if you, like, don't. What, what percentage of people vote? Like, only like 48% of people voted in this freaking election. <laughs> it makes me mad you should not you should okay so say you have candidate a mm -hmm. complete disaster everything is going to go very badly Dr. Hart. <laughs> yes um and you have candidate c never going to win but really great and then candidate b i don't know i did not <laughs> but <laughs> candidate b who is slightly worse than a good candidate, but okay. still is going to win. Do you know anybody knows who you're talking about? I know. <laughs> I know for sure. I don't want to use their names though, because I uh, why not? Because why not? But please just vote for. So me. you have a there's a piece of you at least that blames candidate C's voters. Well, yeah, because like, and well, first of all, so, so, we'll so, we don't need to go there. We've been we've been talking for a long time. Yeah, so don't we'll have a do that, video. please. Like. Next time the election rolls around, we'll talk about it. Also, that. you should, like, all, and then there's, like, a, like, a billion people that just didn't vote at all. That's the biggest Because they thing. decided on nobody. I think that's and that is a bad thing. idea. Don't do that. Yeah. Please at least vote for someone. The person that's going to ruin the country the least. Okay. Do that. Cool. Okay, get us out of here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let, us, let us know your thoughts yeah. on what we talked about or any other finer points that you want right. to bring up that I didn't cover in sort of a high-level pass of this. Yeah. Moral of the story, people kind of suck, and we should go to maybe medieval times as a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, guys.